So unless you've been living under a rock for the last month, then you know Xtool has released a brand new laser, the F1 Ultra. It's a 20 watt diode laser and a 20 watt fiber laser. I've got one in my shop that I've been testing for a while. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Steve and welcome back. Now, I'm pretty excited to talk about this F1 Ultra. I think Xtool reached out to me almost two months ago to say they had this product and I've been waiting with anticipation for it to finally arrive. And it, it came about, I don't know, a week and a half, two weeks ago and I couldn't get it plugged in fast enough to, to really see if, if Xtool's entry into the fiber space uh, completes the, the suite or uh, just maybe caused some issues. Well, the reality here is they now have uh, uh, their typical diode lasers. They have a CO2 laser with a P2, and now they have this F1 Ultra, which is a fiber laser. It's also, of course, got a diode laser in it, so you can do cutting and engraving of pretty much anything you could imagine, and that's, that's really exciting times. Now, I will talk about uh, all of the features here, including some of the optional accessories, but uh, I'll start with the specifications. So the, the standard uh, product you can see here, it's really uh, what amounts to a giant F1, hence the, the name F1 Ultra. Uh, it's got uh, some really cool features around streamlining production. So if you wanna make a lot of something, uh, they make it easy with this product. Uh, of course, it's got the 3D curve engraving that you would get on something like the P2 or, or, or the S1. And they have done some work on improving photo engraving. They've got a new pixel algorithm that, that will help there. And on the work area side, uh, compared to a lot of other 20 watt fiber lasers, uh, which typically are around 100 millimeter square, the F1 Ultra is 220 millimeter square, which is already fairly big. But if you add the conveyor, uh, you, you go to 220 by 500 millimeters. And that's pretty exciting times because in addition to allowing you to do that volume production, it also lets you engrave things that are fairly wide. Now, laser source, as I mentioned, 20 watt fiber laser, 20 watt diode laser. Uh, focusing is camera-based autofocus, and of course you can use the camera for aligning uh, projects on your workspace. And uh, of course it's got the standard uh, manual focus as well, so you can basically see a red dot and a blue dot and you can line them up, and when you line them up, the laser's in focus. Now I don't normally do unboxings, but I will call this out specially because Xtool has done quite a bit of engineering in the packaging of this laser. Uh, everything was packed amazingly well. There was really dense foam everywhere. So even though the UPS guy kind of plunked it down in front of my door, uh, I was a little nervous, but when I opened it up, I was just completely shocked by how well this was done. And when you do get the laser out of the box and all of the additional, uh, I'll say sub boxes, you'll see that they're all really well labeled. So you don't have to guess what's in each box and the manual was right on top as soon as you open it. So uh, kudos to Xtool for just getting packaging right because so many laser companies just don't pay attention to that sort of thing. Having said all those nice things about the packaging, you're still gonna wanna make sure that when you focus uh, either manually or automatically that the two dots line up, the red dot and the blue dot, as you can see here. So the very first thing you're gonna wanna do when you take this out of the box is calibrate the F1 Ultra. Now, fortunately, Xtool has it well documented and it's actually really easy to do this calibration. It took me minutes. And once I had it calibrated, then I was ready to do a bunch of testing. So. Uh, for the remainder of, of this video, you're going to see a bunch of the tests I ran. It's a good mix of diode and, and fiber laser engraving, and uh, hopefully you, can, you see the, the real capability of this laser. 
All right, we'll start a little project here, just engrave the dog image, but I'll use the fiber laser for this on black acrylic. So because I'm on, on black, I have to invert the image and then I'll pick some reasonable settings here and, and I'm going at a, a reasonable speed, but I'm using uh, 600 dots per inch, which is about three times what you could do with a typical diode laser. So we'll get really high resolution from, from this image. And I, I just started the job and you can see it come out here. This is about 25 times speed, so it's not quite this fast, but it's still pretty quick by comparison to, uh, to any diode laser, for example. And you can see the output there looks uh, pretty remarkable. And uh, I'll zoom in on, on the finished uh, image here and uh, you can get a good close look at it. So next I tried just a stainless steel flask that I had uh, sitting on my shelf. And uh, again, I'm using the fiber laser here, but I position the flask on the workspace uh, just roughly because I'm going to frame anyway. And I can make sure that, that when, when it's framed, it's in the right place. And then I just did an engrave here. I did, I think, three passes. And you can see the final output uh, looks amazing. <laughs> I am just super impressed. So uh, if you're doing high volume flasks or tumblers, if you, if you have the rotary, uh, this is the perfect tool for you. Now I know most people are interested in the fiber uh, portion of this product, but this also has a diode laser. So I took a pencil and I used the accurate positioning. That was a real time engrave. And you can see I actually had the precision to take just the yellow paint off and take it down to the primer. That was very cool. Now I'll do one more fiber test. Xtool did a, a, a lion on a coin in their, in their promo information. And I thought that was a little bit dubious. It looked like a pretty deep engrave. So I asked them for the file and I tried it myself. And you can see the output here. This is sped up a lot. So this took about 28, 29 minutes to engrave, but uh, you can see it here. It comes out actually really nicely and uh, pretty much as advertised. So I think, I think, you know, if you want to do these kinds of things, you can certainly do it with this laser. Now, last thing I want to talk about is the optional conveyor. Uh, this will expand your horizontal space on your workspace from 220 millimeters up to 500. So roughly double. And uh, it's pretty easy to mount. You, you put this bracket on the workspace and then drop the conveyor on top of it and run a couple of screws into the front there. Now you will have to remove this uh, after you're done with the conveyor. So it's not quite as convenient as it could be, I guess, but uh, it is pretty simple to get it installed and removed. It only takes a minute or two, but I think maybe this could have been done a bit better. So once you get the conveyor installed, you'll find in XCS that there's two modes of operation. The first one is large mode where you're making just a big sign using the conveyor as, as an extended workspace. So I created this big welcome sign. It's about 500 millimeters and it came out really well. I didn't have to worry about alignment. I didn't have to worry about it running crooked or anything. It just worked. And that's the kind of the kind of accessory you want when you have any kind of laser. The second mode for the conveyor is batch mode. And again, you can select it from XCS and then just take a capture of the, of the desktop and put your image in there. Then you can use that sample button to determine what it is the software should be looking for on the conveyor to engrave on. It's really actually pretty simple, all things considered. And then when you run things on the belt, you can see them here. If I have one, if I have two, I actually did one with three. Uh, it will just keep going until there's nothing left on the belt. So that's the X-Tool F1 Ultra. It's a fantastic laser, but I'm not gonna do a bunch of pros and cons here like I would normally do. Uh, and that's because everything you've seen in this video was beta at the time I recorded it. And I did find a few minor issues that I'll report to Xtool and they will definitely fix any of these before they ever ship a laser to you if you're buying one. Now, I only scratched the surface here, so I'll do a follow-up video in the not too distant future when I catch up on some other things and I'll focus more on that, that high volume production side. This really is a business laser though, and the price certainly is indicative of that. So if you really don't wanna pay that price, but you still want a diode IR laser, then consider the X-Tool F1. I'll put affiliate links in the description down below for both of these lasers. And I'd say if you wanna follow up on this video and you're looking at maybe, maybe a cheaper solution, then click the video up in the corner here and go watch that one. 
and I'll say get out there make your world and I'll see you next time